How y'all doing out there, sports fans? It's your man, H. Rap Brian. Coming at you live and direct once again. The song, as usual. So, you have to watch the um, NFL playoff games with the Falcons versus the Seahawks. And then the Patriots versus the Texans. Uh, my focus is really on the um, Houston Texans or the NFL overall and their ability it or inability to select a quality quarterback. Brock Osweiler just got an insane, I think a, a $72 million contract and $36 million is guaranteed. I have to ask myself and ask everybody in the sports world, how the hell is that possible? Are, are we to believe that we talking about about 90 guys in the whole world are allegedly good enough to play NFL quarterback and he's one of them? This is a guy who stands flat foot, f feet spread apart in good posture and throws balls four to five yards off target. It makes me wonder, what shallow prism are you looking at these young men through to for him to be e even be selected? As far as the last time I counted, there are 109 Division I football programs. And this is what you come up with? The question I need to ask, and everybody else who's watching the NFL should ask, what is are you looking at to make Brock the guy you pick? Is it that he is six between six four and six seven? That he has a strong arm and he's relatively mobile? Because he's inaccurate as all hell. I have a problem with this because I look back to a year ago, and I'm looking at a guy like Dak Prescott, who's picked in the third, maybe fourth round. And even though he's picked in the third or fourth round, he stars in the NFL week one. And he, he has pedestrian and uh, he has pedestrian performances, but he's not making these mistakes. And when he's asked to throw the ball, he's throwing accurately. So how many guys are out there who are Dak Prescott that are either working a job, unemployed, or in the Canadian Football League? What makes Brock Osweiler stand out, whereas Dak Prescott and others are held to uh, uh, a, a certain standard and not even picked high, where Brock Osweiler has been receiving, he probably received about four to five million dollars this far up until this year, and now he's going to get thirty-six million dollars guaranteed, and more than likely he's going to get another opportunity to play. So NFL, the question is. What's your evaluation process? Who are you overlooking? Why are you not investing more in your uh, 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 draft process? And why aren't these scouts' feet being held to the fire? If you want, if you have an answer to those questions, or any, if you like to ask me any questions, check us out Wednesday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. on the end of the bench. You can check us out at the end of the bench on Twitter or at hrap underscore Brian. We're also on Facebook, the T-H-A-E-N-D-O-F-D-A-B-E-N-C-H. I'll let your boy, two fingers, one word, we out.